In William Lane Craig's Top 7 Arguments for the Existence of His God, he includes, normally at about number 3 or 4 out of 7, the existence of objective morals or objective moral values. Number 3. Objective moral values in the world. Given his reliance on this argument, one would think that he would have some cogent, persuasive evidence to support it. And what is that evidence? Get ready, because this is it. But the problem is that objective values do exist, and deep down I think we all know it. Yep, that's it. Because deep down we all know it. The world's leading Christian apologist, in his top seven arguments, uses the existence of objective morals or objective moral values as proof of his God, and this is the height of his evidence that they even exist. And this is not a one-off. In his debate with Arif Ahmed, Craig raises the same point and receives the same criticism. In any case, what reason is there for thinking there are objective moral values? There must be a good argument for this. After all, there are no objective aesthetic values, quite plausibly, so Dr. Craig must give us an argument for saying there are objective moral ones. What is the argument? Well, it was striking, so I wrote it down. He said, there are objective moral values because deep down we know there are. That's it. That's the argument. Now, that may pass for an argument in Talbot Theological College. Deep down, I think we all know it.